Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakat Gadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone that continue to be well. And honor to you, brothers out there laboring in truth and sincerity. And Shalom to you, few sincere sisters. Okay, so I'm going to get into, um, you know, you know, Esau, you know, and the scripture that inspired this lesson, I'm going to get it, is I believe is um, Numbers. Uh, I believe it's Numbers 30, Numbers 35 and verse 33. Uh, you know, um, you know, the only way this place is going to get um, cleansed, you know, is by the blood of the people who shed the blood of, you know, um, of the Israelites, you know, God's chosen people, you know, and that's the Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans, so-called, okay? So the only way, way um, this place is going to get, um, the way the Lord going to get back is by the, by their blood, okay? That's the only way this place could, can get cleansed, okay? So I'm going to get into that a little bit. That's what inspired me, you know? So I'm going to get a few scriptures and, um, you know, I'm going to just get straight into it and Lord willing, this video will be edifying. So my first script is going to be um, Ezekiel 30, um, Ezekiel 35. Um, I'll just start from the top. Moreover, the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Okay, and Mount Seir is, um, you know, is where, um, you know, Esau, the top dogs of Esau, um, is from. Okay, Mount Seir, um, is, it, it is the ancient and biblical name. Uh, I'm just read what's on here, what I got. For a mountain region stretching between the Dead Sea and the Gulf of Aka, uh, I don't know, let me see, I want to, I want to pronounce that wrong. Akaba, no Akaba, Lord will not say that right. I believe I am though. Um, um, for a mountain region stretching between the Dead Sea and the Gulf of Akaba and the north, north, northwestern region of Edom. And southern, southern, southeast, like it, southeast of the kingdom of Judah. Okay, so that's where it's at. It says it may also have marked the older historical limit of ancient Egypt and Canaan. Canaan. Okay. So I'm just getting a little map, you know, a little history on that. Okay. And it is is it, 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 with the Canaanite, the Canaanites. Okay. Um. You know, just just to get that for edification's sake, you know, um, that's where, that's what what my where Mount Seir is, okay? That's where Esau is, um, their home, okay? I guess you could say. Um, uh, let me see. Uh, let me go back to my script, so like you. So going back to the script, um, and prophesy against it, and say unto it. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashmiah Shai, thy power. Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashmiah Shai. <laughs> that's, that's funny. That's the spirit says, I am Yahweh Shai in the scripture. <laughs> I didn't um, I didn't even catch that until now. Um, yeah, they're they going to know. Okay, they gonna know. Um, this is the point right here. Okay, so verse five, uh, Ezekiel thirty-five, verse five, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and I word perpetual hatred. That word perpetual um, means um, um, no longer affectionate to to something to one another. No, no, uh, uh, um, uh, everlasting hatred. You no, know? everlasting. Okay, that's what that word means. Everlasting hatred. No, no longer affectionate. Okay, um. Has had um in um slacky Ezekiel thirty five verse five because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity in the time that their iniquity had an end. Okay, verse six. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh Shai thy power, I will I will I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. See it um see it thou hast not hated blood even blood shall pursue thee. Okay, like I said, and in, in, I'm about to get numbers 35 and 33. You know, that's the way they're gonna get paid back with their blood. They're gonna, um, this is how this place is gonna get cleansed. It gotta get cleansed with their blood. Okay, and um, no, that's recoup. The um, the Lord gonna um, pay back vengeance. 
Okay? That's how the Lord gonna pay back vengeance. Um let me see. Slock you. So let me get my next script. Revelation 18. Revelation 18 and verse um I'm gonna start at verse 6. I'm I'm gonna go down to verse 6. Um down to verse 8. Revelation 18, verse 6. Reward her, reward her even as she rewarded you. Okay? And what was the reward that she gave us? Okay? Um, no. Um, uh, uh, beating her ass. It's like, I'm over. It's a lot. I'm just thinking about a lot of shit. Beating her ass. Um, taking on women. Uh, butt breaking. Uh, you know that word motherfucker goes back into it's literal. You no, know, that's literal. Okay. Um, you know, they used to blindfold the um the sun, you know, and you know, you know what else, you know, because I told you it's literal. So um yeah, you know, we gon' we gonna um get you back for that, okay? But in righteousness though, we're not gonna make you do no weirdo um um what is the word incense? Incense, I'm not saying it right, but um we ain't gonna make you do none of that weird old shit. We're not gonna butt break you or nothing like that. That's, we don't. Everything we gonna do is is gonna be in righteousness, okay? You know, um, and double unto her, double according to her works. And the cup which she had fulfilled, she had filled, uh, filled it, filled to her double. Okay, let me read that again. And the cup which she f had filled, filled to her double, okay. Yeah, we're going to punish you double. You're going to get it even worse than us. But in righteousness again, we're not going to be doing old weird old unrighteous weird acts because, you know, the law is going to be it's going to be in our inward parts. OK, so we can't go off. OK, during the time, you know, um, I'm speaking in our kingdom. Now I'm going to you know when, our, when, we, when we in our kingdom, you know, we're going to you know get double to um, them. OK, but we're going to be righteous. Verse six, verse seven. How much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Okay, how I'm gonna read this again. Revelation eighteen verse seven. How much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart. I, I sit a queen, okay, a queen, you know, and, you know, it's not a literal woman, but, you know, it's spiritual, you know, because the queen, you know, this, this place is known as a whore, and that word queen means whore, okay? Um, uh, okay, um, uh, um, America, okay, since I'm talking about the feminacy, of this place, it, it, it was supposed to be called Americo, Americo, okay, Americo, named off Americo, fast food, I can't pronounce it, but no, they, they switched it to America, okay, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, America, to make it seem, uh, sound more, uh, um, feminine, okay, Americo, um, sounds more masculine, so they had to feminize it with America, okay, and I'm saying that because, you know, I said that word queen, and it's not a literal woman, but this place is, um, Lacking unto a woman, unto, unto a whore, okay? Because a whore will do anything they want, okay? And that's what Esau does, okay? Um, and am no widow, and shall see no see no sorrow, is a proud whore at that, okay? I am no widow, no, I'm never going, no, I'm going to be good, basically. No, I'm no widow, and shall, and shall see no sorrow. I'm, I'm good. They, they think they're going to be good forever, okay? Um... Let me see. Okay, verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord, Yahweh Bashima Shai, thy power who judgeth her. Okay, this place is going to get judged. It's going to get missile food. Okay, it's going to get missiled. Okay. Through the spirit power of Yahweh Bashima Shai. Okay. Um, okay, let me get my uh, my, my next script that, that um, uh the numbers that um this is the script that kind of um gave me gave me the um inspiration i get uh, i guess you could say um for this video all right 
So this is Numbers 35 and verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood is defiled the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Like I said earlier. Okay, the Lord going to um, pay back this place um, um, with the blood of the people that shed the blood of his of his chosen. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. The, the Lord is going to pay back this place with the blood of the people that shed the blood of his chosen. And who shed the blood of the Israelites the most? Esau. No, your other nations got um, um, your hands dirty too. But Esau was the one that did us the, the, the dirtiest. Okay. Um, they're the ones that's ruling. They're the ones that's on top. Okay. So they don't get the worst. Okay. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. Okay. Just, um, um, yeah, that's, that's the point made right there, man. You know, the Lord's going to pay back, you know, with their blood. He's going to cleanse his place with the blood of the Edomites. Okay. And the other nations. So I'm going to get my, my last script, Jeremiah 51. Excuse me, it's like here. <clears throat> okay, so it's <clears throat> this is Jeremiah 51. Uh Jeremiah 51 in um stop it. In verse 20. Okay, verse 20, and I'm gonna read down to verse um 26. You know, I want to get this because the Lord gonna use his men, the elect, okay, to get busy on these people. Right now, what we're doing right now, um is um telling our people who the enemy is and telling the other nations you're gonna be in slavery and telling um yeah telling the other nations that you're gonna be in slavery okay and I want to add something else too the reason why the Lord gonna fuck y'all up too Esau is because um what y'all the other thing you did too you covered the faces okay you covered the faces of the Lord okay you covered the faces of the prophets okay you try to put you whitewashed so called I'm gonna say so called you red washed it I'm gonna say it like that because you really read you red washed it, okay? Um, 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 and put your face on it. And that's why the Lord gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Excuse my language, but it pisses me off, man. Okay? Excuse my language, but it, man, it pisses me off, man. Okay? Um, I, 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 I'm gonna continue, though. I just wanna say that. That's why y'all gonna get messed up, man. Because what y'all did, man, y'all, y'all, it's fuck, it's blasting me, man. Okay? You can't repent from that. And you're not the chosen, anyways. You, you can't, none of y'all nations could repent, but. I'm going to just continue. Jeremiah 51 and verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapon of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. Like I said, nations. Okay. It's, it's plural. Okay. It's not going to just be Esau, Edom. Okay. Um, I'm going to continue. It's not going to okay, It's not going to be Esau, Edom. So like, yeah, I keep in. I seen that. It's not going to be Esau, Edom. Okay, it's going to be your other nations too. Y'all going to get it, but Esau Edom is just going to get it the worst. Okay, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Okay, you know, this place is going to get destroyed, man. You know, like the scriptures say, a kingdom divided against itself can't stand. Ain't this kingdom divided? The Republicans, the, Dem the Democrats, they, they, they on one accord. They, um, no, and, uh, um, I want to say it right. Um, Okay, they they say they're like um against each other. I can't even, I can't even think how to say it. Okay, so the Republicans and the Democrats. Okay, um, I know I'm talking about something else because it's um talking about the uh, kingdoms. Okay, this place is gonna get destroyed. Okay, because uh like I said, um kingdom against uh, divided against each other can't stand. Okay, because Democrats believe in one thing and Republicans believe in one thing. Okay, and that's divided. But we all understand they 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 on the same agenda. But certain things they don't agree on. Okay, if that makes any sense, I'm gonna just say it like that. Okay, uh, twenty verse twenty one. And with thee will I break in pieces the the horse and his rider. Okay, the, the his his power. Okay, his power. His um, his power. Simple as that. You know, like a Mustang. You know, they got the horse on there that represents power. Okay, and with thee will I break in pieces the chariots. So I get the chariot and his rider. Okay, verse twenty two. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman, and with thee will I break in pieces 
old and young, and with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. Okay, yeah, because you um you know regeneration, um reincarnation, okay? That's a real thing. You got ain't you profit uh you profit off the um your forefathers, right? You know, you you you, you um you got the money, you got you know, you don't gotta work, you know, mainly um uh I'm talking about Esau, um you don't gotta work, you know. Some of them are they two times losers here, you know, two times losers, we understand that, but you know, the elite, the elite, um you don't got to work. You're just chilling, big chilling. But my point is, okay, with the old and the young and babies and shit, if you from the line of Edom, you from the line of Edom, and you're going to get destroyed. You a devil. You a strain from the womb. Okay, that's the scripture say. Okay? You're not upright. Okay? Um, and that goes for every Edomite. If you're from a, if you're Edom, you are not, um, 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 you're not right in the mind. You're fucking weird. You're sick. Okay? So my point is, like, let me get to the point. The young... Okay, going to re uh, re uh, reincarnation. Um, um, yeah, the Lord gonna destroy babies, baby Edomites, um, girl Edomites, young old Edomites. It doesn't matter. The all Edomites are gonna get it. Okay, because they um, they got the benefits of the um, their their forefathers. Their 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 uh, you know, and really they are their forefathers. Really, they're back today. I believe that. Um. Just like how we, we um, you know, our forefathers, they, you know, they was going through it, catching hell, you know. And look at us, we're catching hell too, okay? Um, so I just want to make that point right there. Verse 23, I will also break in pieces with thee, the shepherd, and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers, okay? So the Lord is just taking back everything. The Lord is taking them all out. In verse 24, I will render unto Babylon, unto the habitations of Chaldea, all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Okay, and the Chaldees, that's the, um, that's the, um, the elites, okay? Um, Chaldeans, yeah, Chaldeans, right? Yep, yep. Verse 25, behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain. Saith the Lord, which destroy all the earth. You know that mountain represents governments, okay? Like I said, Esau, okay, Chal the Chaldeans, the top dogs, okay, the um the Rothschilds, the um you know, etc. Okay. Rockefellers, um, etc. Like I said, okay. That's the mountain, that's that's the governments, okay? The top dogs, the elites, the ones that you don't really even see their face, really. That's the ones. Um, behold, I am against the old destroying mountain, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem al Shai, which destroys all the earth, and they don't give the earth no rest. You're supposed to give the earth a rest, okay? The earth is a living, breathing, breathing thing, okay? And I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain, okay? The Lord going to fuck their ass up, man. Excuse my language, I said again, the Lord going to mess they, they ass up, man, Okay? Like I said, the mountains represent the governments. The Lord going to burn them, they, they ass down. Verse 26, and they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner, nor a stone for foundation. Okay, basically he ain't going to be able to build back up when the Lord comes through and destroy this motherfucker. Um, and like I said, excuse my language, I am a little hot, you know, I'm, I'm, man, I don't, man. Um, but, um, no, the, basically the Lord, after the Lord, um, like them birth pains, man. You can't ain't no turning back to birth pains. So when the Lord destroys this motherfucker, ain't no turning back. It's gonna get destroyed in one hour. It's gonna be destroyed and it's gonna be destroyed forever. Okay, ain't when they in our kingdom, ain't no oh Esau I'm gonna rise against us and and beat us or whatever. How you gonna be? You can't be a god, bro. Now you can't be. We're gonna be righteous. You can't. Immortal is right. Immortal is um, I mean uh, righteousness is immortal, and I believe that's in wisdom, wisdom and Solomon five, I believe. Okay. Um, let me just finish it off in this. I, I, I believe I made the point, so I don't want to just ramble. Jeremiah 51 verse 26. And they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner, nor a stone for foundation, but thou shalt be desolate forever. <laughs> like I just said, forever, saith the Lord. How about you, Mount Shai? And I'm not just talking shit because I don't like Esau. I'll eat him. You know, I'm just, I'm, you know, it's, it's the Bible. You know, um, it's my, it's my, it's, um, my God that's saying that, man. How about you, Mount Shai? You know, and brothers, listen, that's our God saying that, okay? And sisters, okay? Um, that's our God. 
as saying that, all right? I'm not just saying that to talk mess, you know? So, um, uh, like I said, man, when this when this place gets destroyed, man, ain't no more building back up, ain't none of that. When it gets destroyed, just like the birth pains, just don't turn it back. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule well. And honor to you brothers out there laboring in truth and sincerity. Stay strong, brothers. We almost out of here, man. We got the we 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 got the best reward ever, man. We we going through what we going we going through what we going through, but at the end of the day, man, we got the best reward, man. We 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 gods, man. Esau Edom is just a moral, filthy beast. Okay. So I'm gonna say you no know, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Y'all by Shmuel Shabbat Katham. Um. No, stay strong, like I said. And with that, I'm going to say Kwame Yasharala, DTA, and a ball of a ball. Shalom.